It is reading vlog time! So I am very, very, you know what? No. Hi everybody! My name is Mr. Francy and welcome or welcome back to Mr. Francy Reads. I am almost two weeks behind on my reading vlog. So we are going to discuss what I read in the last week of May and what I have been reading so far in June. So I do not have any more time other than to once again welcome you or welcome you back to Mr. Francy Reads! <laughs> Yes, hello and welcome or welcome back to Mr. Francie Reads. Let's get right into it because I don't have a lot of time to film this and I've got a number of books to get through. So here we go. Where we last left off, I was reading this book, uh, King of Mist by Jordan Rivett. This is a YA fantasy book. It is book two in the Steel and Fire series. I read book one, Duel of Fire, quite a while ago. And I ended up giving it four stars and I was intrigued to see where things would go with this book. Honestly, this book let me down. I loved the way that book one ended and the first quarter of this book followed on from, uh, uh, book one in that same fashion and I enjoyed that but I started getting an odd feeling uh, as I was reading uh, the second quarter and by the third quarter I was feeling less certain about the series and by the time I got to the end of the book it just felt like it was going in a whole new direction. Now I am reading book three in this month in June so we'll see how things go but um I'm a little anxious as far as ordering any of the other books in advance because if book three goes where I think it's going to go, then it's definitely not going to be the book for me. Um, because the way this book ended, it looked like it's going to be ad adapting, uh, adopting my least favorite trope, which is heedless travel. You know, the questing, traveling slash questing trope where you don't know where you're going to and you don't know how you're going to get there. And, uh, and it, it, I just don't like that. So <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah, it just, over, all in all, the book let me down, so I'll see what happens with uh, book number three, but uh, this is where we left off at the last reading vlog, so I just want to update you on that. If you've seen my monthly wrap, you probably know uh, the first three books I'm going to discuss, but I have read more since the beginning of June, so... The second last book that I read in the month of May, that I read after that one, was this book, The Lake of Tears, which is book number two in the Del Toro Quest series. Uh, both of these books are on my SAS list, which is uh, why I'm reading them at the moment, because I want to try and get as far into my SAS list as I can. This is a middle grade fantasy series. Each book in this series is a novella, which makes them incredibly easy to read. They're all three hours long. Uh, book one is the premise for the entire series. In book one, we um, we see we meet a prince whose name is Leaf, who is being coronated to become king. Anytime someone in this world is goes through a coronation, they need to wear a belt. The belt has been forged by magical creatures of the land to include seven gemstones. When Leaf is being coronated, the belt is there, but the gems are missing. Because the gems are missing, the evil Shadow Lord has been released, so we need to find all of the seven gemstones and put them back into the belt to get rid of the sh evil Shadow Lord. So we work all of this out in book number one, and then from book two onwards, it's an eight book series, we spend each book, I assume we're going to anyway, uh, trying to procure a gem in you know, book two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, so yeah, in uh, book two, we're on the hunt for the second gem, and I enjoyed it. I gave book one four stars. I gave book two four stars. Um, there is action, puzzles to try and figure out, and it's a short and sweet read, honestly. The audio book, I think, is three hours long if you listen to it on one time speed. I I'm so far loving the series. I, I knock each book out in a day, and I enjoy the read. So there you go. I do highly recommend it. The final book that I read for the month of May uh, was a book that completely derailed my TBR because I planned to get to Midnight for Charlie Bone and The Elite, and I ended up putting both of them aside because I wanted to read a steamy book. I don't like when books involve bedroom scenes when I'm not prepared for it, 
And I've experienced that uh, quite a number of times over the past couple of years, and it just annoys me. But I wanted to see how things would go for me if I went into a book fully prepared for it to be a steamy book. So I asked some people on a Facebook group, uh, a male male um, book group on Facebook, because I wanted to read a male male steamy book uh, for recommendations, and ended up settling on this book, which is How to Vex a Vampire by Alice Winters. This book was not as steamy as I thought it was going to be, and I was chatting to a friend about it uh, who was saying to me words that I can't use on the channel, um, but was basically saying to me, oh, you you were expecting steam from the moment the book begins and for it to be steamy the entire way through. She didn't say those words, but that's what she was trying to say. <laughs> that's the words I can use. <laughs> and I said, yes, that's what I was expecting. It's a steamy book. And um, yeah, then I realized that, well, I guess steamy books are different for everyone, for every reader, every author. And so would I call this book steamy? Not completely. Would I say there are steamy scenes? Yes. The premise of the book is that we are following two characters, and I don't remember their names, and I don't have a lot of time to film this, so I'll just keep it brief. One is human, one is a vampire, and they are working in a, as part of like a, a, a de police cop detective unit thing, which is filled with police and detectives who are vampires, except for this one human guy who wants to work with the vampire detective team. So yeah, he's placed on there, and uh, this guy ends up uh, forming a crush on the guy that he is, the vampire he's partnered with, and things kind of ensue from there. To me, the first three quarters read like a cozy mystery, to be honest, just an LGBTIQ plus cozy. <laughs> um, and so I liked it for that reason, and I'm definitely not going to downgrade my star rating um, based on the fact that I thought it was steamy and it wasn't as steamy as I thought, I still enjoyed the book anyway. But the final quarter was absolutely steamy. Like, seriously, where is my fan? <laughs> Very steamy. <laughs> and I did love that. Look, this was a fantastic book. I couldn't fault it. I gave it five stars. And I hope to continue on with the series at some point once I deal with everything that's on my SAS list, because I have so many books to read from my SAS list. But uh, you'll definitely see more from this series uh, at some point soon. This is book number one in the vampire-related crimes series, in case you were wondering. All right, so now moving on to June and what I have been focusing on this week. So I finally did pick up and finish The Elite by Kiera Cass. This is book number two in the selection series, and we're doing a selection buddy read uh, over on my Discord. And this is a reread uh, for me, this series. I read the series two years ago for the first time and absolutely loved it. I've been wanting to do a reread for a long time. I We read book one in... Um, April. <laughs> and as I said, I was meant to read this one in May, but I did read it as the first book that I read in June. And it still holds up to me to this day. I gave book one in April of this year in, for my reread five stars. And I gave this book for my reread five stars as well. And they both received five stars on my original read uh, when I read them two years ago. So they still hold up to this day. The basic premise of this series is that we follow a woman by the name of America Singer, who has been entered into a competition that's kind of like The Bachelor, but set in uh, the royal castle. The prince is looking for his bride, and yeah, America Singer is one of the pe the women that's chosen to take part in this process called The Selection. But it's on, not a romance series. It is a dystopian series. Don't let the ball gown on the cover fool you, because this uh, book is set in a world where there is a very full-on class system uh, with very full-on rules, <laughs> and there are uh, wars that are taking place all the time. The cover may lead you to think that it's a nice, sweet, fluffy read, and book number one isn't, but it's fluffier than book number two. Book number two deals with different things, including violence. So if violence triggers you, do be warned, not as fluffy as it looks. Um, not at all. But it's still an amazing series. I think Kira Cast did an amazing job. So still five stars to this day. So now, to the book that I am currently reading, which is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Okay, I am currently there. I'm not done with my reading for today, but that's where I'm currently at, which is page 218. I wanted to get up to page 318 today. I don't think that's going to happen. But let me slow down and talk about this book, because I need to get some thoughts and feelings out. So, 
This book was assigned to me for school. It is a buddy read that we're doing over on the Discord at the moment. And so far, I've read four books for the current unit I'm studying at school, and those four books I did not like. I was excited going into this one because I'd heard many great accolades for this book, even though I hadn't read it. So I was excited to, to go into it. And let me tell you, the beginning of this book was rough for me to read. We are following our protagonist, whose name is Jane Eyre, the titular character, <laughs> and uh, she is being horribly mistreated. And she's being horribly mistreated from page one. And that was very tough for me to deal with because I wanted to get invested in the world, even though it's a classic, not a fancy, but the world of this book and with this character. And it was just very hard for me to do that because our protagonist is is abused. She is verbally abused. Uh, at, at one stage, she is physically abused, not sexually, just physically abused because what she does is unladylike, apparently. <laughs> um, so that was very tough for me to read to begin with because I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to read a nice, sweet, fluffy book. Nay, sir. Nay, sir. This is not a nice, sweet, fluffy read. <laughs> but in saying that, once that section of the book was over, because this book very much, um, I think it's like a fictional memoir of this fictional character. And so it, to me, the way I see it is it's divided into sections. Once that section was over, Jane ends up going to a school. And from that moment on, I ended up starting to, my feelings for the book turned around and changed. And while she was at the school, I started, you know, really getting to love Jane, getting to know her, getting to know the people around her. And by the time I got to the end of that section, I, I went from really not liking this book to starting to like it. Then we move on to uh, the third section, and I just finished reading the third section, but uh, I won't say what happens in case it's a spoiler, but in the third section, I started liking the book even more because Jane meets this guy and they have some very intriguing conversations. And so, yeah, that had me not only liking it, but having me rather intrigued. Then we get into the last part of the section I've just read, and it was creepy, spooky, oh my gosh. And now I am hooked on this book. Hooked, everyone, hooked on this book. So I've just finished that section. We've moved on to another section. And so I'm interested to see where things are going to go from here. But Charlotte Bronte, in a matter of 218 pages, has taken me through so many different emotions. And that shows just how amazing an author she is. I give her so much credit. So I can't wait to continue on with the book. As I say, this is a buddy read. So if you want to join us, uh, we are discussing it on my Discord. And link to that is in the description. Up, 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 up. These are most of the books that I've been reading since I last saw you all. What have you all been reading since I last saw you uh, with a reading vlog two weeks ago? Let me know in the comment section below. But in the meantime, that is where I am going to leave it, letting you all go with peace, blessings, and so, so, so much love. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you again soon. Mwah. Please do be kind and love one another and spread your sparkling energy all throughout the world. And until next time, happy reading!